tasteless. I have no money. And I hate whiskey, so I have no taste. He's getting it. <laughs> uh, so today we're going to be looking at the, um, it's actually a local bourbon whiskey uh, that's from right around where we're from called Iron Fish. Um, it's an Iron Fish. Uh, it's not a straight bourbon whiskey. Um, it's actually, let me read the bottle here. It's actually a bourbon whiskey finished in maple syrup barrels um, at 86 proof. Now the cool thing about what uh, Iron Fish does is they haven't actually been around long enough to uh, completely distill all of their own spirits. So they're, they're actually uh, sourcing the, uh, the new make whiskey from uh, somewhere else. I don't know exactly where it is. I would imagine it's probably like the Midwest, um, I don't remember what it's called, the Midwest uh, corn products or something like that, like MCP or whatever it is. Um, and uh, what they do is they, they've been aging that in barrels and then they go through a whole process where they take, once that's, once they're done aging the whiskey, they take the whiskey out and then they put um, like maple syrup in there and then they take the maple syrup out and then they put uh, more whiskey in the maple syrup barrel, which is where this comes from. So this is uh, a, it's a straight bourbon whiskey finished in a maple syrup barrel. So it should have all of the characteristics of a bourbon, like the cherry and the, um, the kind of the corn dust and the barrel spice, but it also should have a little bit of maple syrup in there. So we'll see if maybe it's a little bit more palatable for for you, I mean, I... And if nothing else, you know it gets five stars? The sound when you pop this cork. It sounded amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Almost spilled it on the mic, but yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, anything with a cork, like, you get an extra points for the cork. Like, no question. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It definitely so, smells sweeter from the maple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immediately, there's, there's more. A little fruitier than the last one, which I think was Evan Williams. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely more pleasing Ooh. of a smell. Yeah, so it's 86 proof. It's a little, um, it's not as strong as the Evan Williams, but it definitely has a stronger, um, like a stronger presence. It's got a lot more spike to it, which I think is because it's been aged for less, less time. Um, they don't keep it in the barrel for that long. They're, uh, they're not very... It's definitely more complex. There's more going on there. Oh, when yeah, for sure. Tip. This is, so the, the Evan Williams is, you know, the, often found for sub-$20. This bottle of Iron Fish uh, whiskey is typically going to run you like $45, $44. And they actually just put out uh, two new uh, bourbons. One of them is a high rye bourbon and one is just a straight bourbon whiskey that are um, small barrel select uh, whiskeys. Where they, they take the whiskey, they put it in a smaller barrel to uh, make the aging process go faster. And those are like... 50 to 80 or 90 dollars. You'd hate me for this, but this would make a killer whiskey sour. Oh, it would, no. <laughs> this is, well, that's the thing, right? Of course. I like, do like whiskey sours. All good whiskey makes great whiskey cocktails. It's just a matter of whether you can justify to yourself paying $44 a bottle for putting it in, in a cocktail or just enjoying it straight up. Like, I, I'm a whiskey guy, so I, I enjoy just the flavor of the whiskey. Hmm. So yeah, the, the the maple comes through for sure. I get the, it's not as strong of like a maraschino cherry type thing. Um, that is odd. I, I'm getting like, I'm getting brown sugar. Yeah. Um, a little bit of, I mean, obviously there's the, the corn dust in there. It's not nearly as bad as some other, uh, so some people like the corn dust. I don't like the corn dust flavor. Right. I've had maple whiskeys where the maple came through stronger, but it was a different process. The whiskey itself was maple. It wasn't just aged in maple barrels, but you can, there's a hint there. Yeah, they probably added a flavor um, compound to a lot of the... Most maple flavored whiskeys have like... A, they'll, they'll take the whiskey and then they'll add maple specifically to the whiskey and make it so that it's like... Um, it wouldn't be called... A, it couldn't legally be called a straight Kentucky bourbon or anything like that because... Um, so this is, yeah, I mean, if you like bourbon, you're going to like the Iron Fish uh, bourbon whiskey. And it, it's probably harder to find if you're not in the Midwest, if you're not near Michigan, near... Probably order it online. Yeah, uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, I know 
The uh, when I, I visited the distillery, um, I actually purchased this at the distillery. It's uh, they've got a cool thing going on there. You can tour it, and they'll give you samples while they make vodka and uh, and gin and they make uh, rum. So uh, you know if you can if you find your way up in that direction, definitely go uh, pay them a visit. But this is if you like bourbon, you're gonna like this. It's it's just a sweeter. You know, it's it's a bourbon with a little bit more complexity. They offer a couple of other kinds, but um, you know, I picked out the maple barrel stuff. I thought it tasted pretty good. So, hmm. I don't know. How do you think it stacks up against the uh, the other stuff that you tried? Um, it's definitely a stronger flavor than say the Evan Williams, and it's more complex than the Monkey Shoulder. But it's not hmm. like I don't like it, but it's not super foul. A non whiskey drinker, and that's a big thing. <laughs> that's that's progress. That's what I call progress. So, all right. Well, we'll uh, we'll move on from here. We'll see if we can't get something a little bit more. Um, <laughs> I'm excited for this one. Yeah, the, the 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 next one we're gonna do, I think, is gonna be this smells uh, good to me. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more. Uh, it's not more expensive, but it's probably uh, has a more expensive uh, method of aging and stuff like that. So we'll. we'll We'll see how things go in the next video.